Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, thanks for clicking on my video. So today I am doing another Shop My Stash installment. I guess I'm gonna make a playlist of these where I am going through my makeup and using stuff that I have never used. And I think everything except my lip gloss is probably something that I opened or something that I have swatched before but never used. So pretty much a full face of first impressions and I had some really, really good products in here that I am excited about. So before we get into the video, if you're new, I would love to have you join the family. So please hit that subscribe button and turn on your notification bell so you know every time I upload. I do hair, nails, makeup, lots of hauls, reviews, a little bit of everything, some fitness sprinkled in. So if you're into that, all things related to beauty, you will love this channel. If you want to see what products I use today to create this look, then stay tuned and keep on watching. So we are continuing my shop my stash because we know that I have a lot of makeup that I have not tried. So it's time to try it, figure out if I'm keeping it or decluttering it. We are getting it together. So for primer today, I'm gonna do my primer first and then I'm gonna do my eyes because I have a new eyeshadow palette. Primer, I'm doing a comparison because I have the Danessa Myricks Yummy Skin Universal Blurring Balm, but then Tarte came out with this Clean Slate Blur Balm. And I talked about comparing these whenever I hold the Tarte. So we're gonna do that today. I already moisturized my face and I didn't do anything else. So we're gonna start, I'm curious to compare the textures, but I'm gonna put Tarte on one side and Danessa on the other side. I think I kind of remember that Tarte was a little more emollient, maybe, although I'm not feeling that way right now. But this definitely feels like it's drying down. It's not staying slick on my face. I don't know if I can tell that it's blurring or anything like that yet. And I'm curious to see if Danessa is gonna feel any different. I don't even know if I showed y'all the texture of this. So here's the comparison. This looks like the, um, it's almost like a off-white kind of pinkish shade versus this is more a yellow. Um, this kind of reminds me of the poreless putty primer from e.l.f. in terms of the shade. Okay, Danessa's definitely does feel more emollient. So we're just going to let both of those sit while I do my eyes. And then I'm going to try to remember to check my face again and just kind of touch it and see how they dry down and how they feel. For eyeshadow primer, I'm just going to use my concealer. And today I'm using the Milk Makeup. This is their Future Fluid All Over Cream Concealer. I got mine in the shade 18W and I do not remember. I feel like when I first got this, before I got a tan, it was about one shade, maybe two shades lighter. And I feel like, oh, I don't remember it being that yellow though. It does say that it's warm, so I don't know. I just don't remember it being that warm. Which of course is too late to return it because this is what Barbara does. I'm hoping the foundation that I picked out, I have not tried either because when I bought it, it was too dark. I hope that it's dark enough to use for today. If not, we're going to make it work because I really want to try it. I swatched this in the store and everything and I thought it was okay. I don't know what I was smoking, but she's yellow. I have this Urban Decay all-nighter translucent loose setting powder I don't know if I've used this on camera before it's hard to keep up with everything but I've had this for a while I remember there was some kind of scandal a while back with one of the urban decay powders where it was supposed to be something you could mix in but then they just like slapped another label on top of it and somebody peeled it back and it was an old product I don't know I have to go some, do some research and try to figure out what it was. 
But yeah, it was a whole thing that Urban Decay was basically trying to just not re not repackage because th they didn't even do that. But I guess trying to, you know, what am I resurrect? I don't know the word I'm looking for, but bring back an old product in a new package and say this is something different. For my palette today, I am finally using my Cosmic Brushes, Cosmic Beauty, Cosmic Brushes um, Muse palette. I have the other, the Serenity palette. Haven't used that one yet either, but I don't know. I just feel like this one was kind of speaking to me today. Now, what I want to do, I have no idea. Hmm, do I want to do an all matte look? I should have figured that out before. I'm so bad at that. This shade up here looks like a duochrome. I feel like I haven't done purple in a while. Oh, this shade right here though. She's going like green to pink or something. We might have to use that one. So we're going to figure it out. I don't know what that shade is, but that is definitely going on my eye. So I'm starting off with Haze, the transition shade, and just putting that in my crease. And this shade is coming off a lot cooler than I expected. It almost looks kind of grayish, but I think this might be good if I go the route I'm thinking about going. Next, I'm gonna go in with, ooh, let's try pine. I'm gonna use this on my lid, so Maybe I should go Fig. Fig is so dark though. Let me go Rosewood first. Ooh, okay. That's pretty. These shadows are definitely pigmented. I barely dipped my brush in there. Okay, and then now I'm gonna do fig. I just wanna see, cause this is also the deepest shade. Oh yeah, and she is definitely keeping her purple, but that's dark. And I'm glad that it is not just muddying into a black. I absolutely love that this is still keeping its purple, but it is so deep. Very, 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 very pretty, and it is blending well. I know these palettes have gotten so much hype, and I was just like, why haven't you used yours yet? I'm gonna stop right there for a second with this. What do we want to do next? I'm gonna take a flat brush. I'm gonna see if I need to do a dedicated cut crease or if I can get this to apply without having to do that. So I'm going to take the shade Ambient. Man, I kind of want to use Antique too, but we're going to go with Ambient. Mm -hmm. Let me... definitely didn't want topper but I feel like that's what I'm kind of getting and I may just need to use my finger you know what I'm gonna go over it with antique because I do feel like antique had a little more BAM like this ooh okay now we're on to something. Okay, my nails are short. I'm going in with my finger. A little bit of antique right on the inner corner. That is so pretty. Well, you see, I chose the purple to go with ambient, but I'm just going to have to make this work because I wanted some shine. Now I'm going to use my finger and go in with ambient. Yeah, see ambient, 
it's cute but it's not giving it's giving what I thought it was gonna give but also not I don't know how to make it make sense but I knew it was gonna be darker I don't know maybe I just changed my mind but that is pretty it's giving off a lot of green, so let's take pine. I'm going to take pine and put it in the outer V area to blend in with the purple. Well, I think those look good together. Ooh, okay, I want something. I'm trying to figure out how I can get, I want my crease to be cut a little more, but it might be too late. And then I'm gonna take pine and just stamp a little bit of that. Okay, now we just got to blend out around the edges. I'm going to do a little more blending, but so far I'm liking how this looks because it is really shiny and it's darker than what I thought I was going to come up with, but we're going to make it work. I was going to do this off camera, but I think I should do it on camera so y'all can see what I'm doing. I think I'm going to take Filigree or Nouveau because I want something, maybe I should just put that on my bottom lash line yeah let me stay with rosewood i don't want to mess up rosewood is dark though yeah we're gonna keep this and then we're gonna go in with one of the green shades around the bottom so we're gonna move on to the face i do feel like my face feels exactly the same on both sides so I don't remember the price difference on the Danessa Myricks versus the Tarte, but I do know that Tarte tends to have a lot of sales. So if you wanted to try something like the Danessa Myricks, I don't know if they have all the same skincare benefits and all that stuff, so that's different. So we're gonna go in, this is the NARS Soft Matte Complete Foundation. I bought this probably a year ago, probably longer, and have not worn it yet. I think I should spray my face just a tiny, tiny bit because this foundation is super matte. I got this in the shade Marquises, Marquise, medium deep number five. I think this shade should be okay. Maybe. Oh no, she's a little light. And then we're gonna put this in the hairline so we can take away that cast from my wig install. Uh, we might be able to make this work, but I'm glad I sprayed my face because it is drying down fast. Ooh, that coverage is very pretty though. I feel like everybody was talking about this when it first came out and then nobody was talking about it. I'm trying out a new wig company today and I have some thoughts. There will be a separate video for this, but it is basically like a outlet version of a bigger company, an outlet. <sighs> Y'all, I can't talk today. I have a head cold and I feel like I'm struggling. <laughs> it is an outlet of a bigger wig company. So you don't, I get, I guess it's, you don't get as much customization or you don't get as many options, but it's supposed to be still the quality you should expect, I would assume, from the other company. I should have wiped off my under eye because now I'm seeing fallout. I didn't see it at first. Yeah, this is definitely not a shade I would normally gravitate towards, but this is what we have, so we're going to make it work. I 
I want to add a little more concealer, but I feel like it is already too light. I'm gonna have to pull something darker because I don't feel like, I don't know, maybe it'll be okay when I set it. I maybe should have color corrected. I don't know, I just don't feel like this is giving me the coverage that I wanted. I mean, everything else looks good. All over, cream concealer, medium to full coverage. I just think it's too light is my problem. Which is probably something y'all don't hear me say often. So I'm gonna go back in with that Urban Decay powder and I'm gonna set But because of how light this is, I'm probably, I have another powder and I'm going to go over it that's a little darker just to help tone it down. I will say one thing I love about wearing wigs, snatches those forehead wrinkles. Absolutely love it. Botox. Ooh -wee, we look snatched, but I also feel like I look a little gray compared to my chest. We need some more warmth so first for my under eyes just to kind of tone it down a little bit i'm going to take my dior what is this thing called powder no powder i feel like is that a thing professional performance perfecting translucent powder i don't remember that being the name of this but i'm going to take that and just lightly try to tone this down some and then I have a face powder. I have my Too Faced Born This Way Multi-Use Complexion Powder in Spiced Rum. I think this is dark enough. Yeah. And this is not even bronzer. This is just to help make this match a little better. Now we're getting somewhere. All right, I might have messed this up, but we're gonna see what happens. For bronzer, I have this Tarte Sculpt Tape Contour. This is in the shade Deep Bronze, and I probably should not be putting this over powder. I have no idea. I have swatched this, and you can see it is pretty deep, so... Oh. Hopefully it won't mess up my makeup. And it actually has, like, you have to turn it. To turn it on, you have to twist it and then make sure you remember to close it back because otherwise, I guess it will leak. I'm just going to start with that little bit. And... Oh, I was hoping that would not happen. I'm gonna work it into the hairline. There we go. That is a gorgeous shade of bronze though. That is so pretty. And it is helping to blend my lace. Thank you, baby Jesus. That is so pretty. Cause it's sculpting, but it's not like, maybe cause it's warmer. I don't feel like it's too, like it's the perfect neutral. It's not too cool and not too warm. Ooh, I really like that. I have not tried, oh, blend that out. Um, the Charlotte Tilbury one. So I don't know how this compares. But considering how much Charlotte is, I'm good with this one. I do feel like you got to kind of work fast, though, because once it starts drying down, it's drying where you put it. But as long as you get to it fast enough, like it's moving around easy. That's so pretty. 
for blush i got one of their blushes i got the deepest one in berry i think it's yeah and i don't know about this because she is light i didn't realize these are only good for six months either so say you know we don't play that game like I feel like, you know what? I got something else I want to use. And I'm going to use this as like a blush topper. Oops, I didn't close it. Because I feel like that is shiny and light. I'm going to use this Say Dew Blush in Spicy. I haven't used this yet either. I don't know if you're supposed to use a sponge with this or what. But oh, this color. Do I just put it on my face? Ooh, that looks very pigmented and my hair is in the blush. Dewy, but pigmented. Okay. Oh, that is so pretty. You do not need a lot of this. Oh, wow. I've been sleeping on this. It's just been sitting. That is so pretty. Oh, come on, face. I feel like my makeup always looks the best when I'm not going anywhere. Let's see. I really don't even want to use this, but you bought it. So just put a little bit at the top which I have a highlighter to use anyway, so it doesn't even matter. But you can tell that is like super shimmery. We are definitely blushing, but that is cute. Oh, wow. That is so pretty. Or I haven't used this in a while. This is the Jaclyn Cosmetics. What is this thing? Blush and bronzer duo. This is in Be Rouge and Espresso Shot. I'm going to take a little tiny bit of the bronzer. I don't even know if you can still get these, but this is just so cute. And actually, this shade will go, but we don't need any more color on my cheeks as far as blush. So we're just sticking with the bronzer. We are bronzed Barbie. I love it. All right. For highlighter, where are you at? I think this is going to go because of the color of my eyeshadow. This is the Natasha Denoma Pastel Plexi Glow Highlighter. This I just picked up on a whim. And this is what she looks like. Oh, I feel like this is going to be so icy. Oh my goodness. It's so weird how that looks gold. I don't see green. Whoa. Huh? Oh, what did I do? Oh crap. Now you gotta do it on this side and then try to blend it out. Oh, it's like that's just stuck on a patch. Okay, we'll make it work. Okay, it's blended down. Oh, goodness. It's weird because I thought it would be more champagne, more green. I'll put it like back here for you to see how it kind of has like that pink here, then white, then green. But this is gold. Pretty, very, very pretty. All right, for brows, I'm gonna use this Brow Styler by Benefit. I picked this up from Marshalls for 10 bucks and it has a thicker pencil on one side and then it has a powder on the other side with this little tiny applicator. So it looks like that. And this is the one in shade four. I have shade five as well. Shade five is really dark. So we're gonna go with four. This does not have a spoolie. No. 
we don't love that. I'm going to just take my spoolie from my Benefit Goof Proof, which is my favorite. And let's see how this pencil compares. So this is in the shade four, which says warm brown, warm deep brown. I use shade four, I use shade four and a half, I use shade five. I just grab whatever I find on sale. But I feel like this is dark enough. I think I'm just gonna try to trace the outline of my brows and do my tail and then use the powder to fill in just so we can see what the powder looks like because I remember trying it before and it was really dark yeah I definitely like this shade better though for the powder the other powder was way too dark I like how that's turning out I don't normally do powder in my brows, but I know for people who like a more natural quote unquote looking brow, sometimes they only use powder. So you have the option to do both. I don't know if I feel like this thing is pretty stiff. Like I feel like I'm trying to put some and it's not really, well, there it goes. So that's it, that's it for the, uh, I'm gonna do the other brow off camera, but I think this is pretty nice. I like having the powder option. For lips, I have this Uoma Beauty. This thing says a badass is the opposite of a dumbass. Okay, this is their lip liner in Simone. I'm hoping this is a brown. Yep. This is a really creamy formula. I think I've tried it once and I don't know who I think I am overlining. That was not on purpose. And then for my lipstick, we're gonna go with it. This is the Laura Lee Los Angeles Liquid Lipstick in Jaybird. It is a matte. I feel like I always end up picking like a pinkish color nude. But Lord knows I don't need any more lip colors. I think that's pretty. I like this shade. Let's see how it dries down and how comfortable it's gonna be. All right, let's finish this bottom lash line and get some lashes on because baby, we are definitely wearing lashes with this look. And then we will be done. I'm gonna go in with my liner brush. I'm gonna start with Fig, of course, and do that on the outer. And then I'm gonna go in with Pine, the green. And then, which one? I'm gonna go in, do we wanna do a different color? Let's do, oh, I don't know. Let's see what Nouveau looks like. Nouveau is this shade right here. And just take that on the inner third. Pretty. Oh, that is a bright shade. And then I'm gonna take a smaller, I think I got one smaller than this. And which one do we want to use? Water Lily? Yeah, let's do it. We're going to go in with this bright green. Is that doing anything? I feel like it's kind of doing a little something. That is smokier than I have ever done my bottom lash line, but I like it. All right, so now we're gonna do liner. Now I have this Birdie Lashes set that I got in my Trend Mood box. And this is her, oh no, it's a mascara. Oh man, why'd I think this was a lash liner? Okay, well, I'm gonna use her lashes. These look like they might be small enough that I don't have to cut them. 
I'm hoping I should just do it anyway because I know better. Oh, I need a gloss. This mat feels very comfortable, but I still want to gloss. Oh, these don't look that bad. I might not need to cut these. These are cute. Okay. For liner, I'm going to use my Lily Lashes Power Liner. This thing is so good. I keep this in my travel bag, but I took it out just to use it for this. This makes my lashes very sticky and they stay. How about you put some mascara on first? I guess we'll use her mascara. This is a dual tip mascara. So one for the top, one for the bottom. Okay, so let's do top first. The brush is curved. I just realized I don't think I ever do mascara without my liner on. Ooh, this is good. Okay. I was not planning on opening this, but now you are coming upstairs. I don't know what this is doing, but it feels like it's curling my lashes. I don't know if it's because of how the wand is shaped or what is happening, but this is good. We don't need a lot because I'm going to put on lashes anyway, but wow. That looks so good. I love this eye look. Okay, <laughs> I'm getting ahead of myself. Let's try the bottom. Ooh, yeah, look at how tiny this brush is. So this is an all-in-one product. You don't have to get two different things. I don't know that I've ever used a brush this small. Mm, I don't think I'm gonna mess with this. I mean, it's definitely putting it, but that's a learning curve for me because I've never used anything that small. So we're gonna let that dry and then I'm gonna put on these lashes, come back and put on some gloss and we will have our final look. All right guys, so this is it for the final look. I'm smiling big because I've been taking pictures. <laughs> I love how this turned out. My lashes cooperated. Y'all, this power liner thing, game changer for me because I feel like, oh, got some fallout. I feel like I would have had issues any other time just because I normally have issues any other time. But this time I had none at all. Just stick, line it, wait a little while, like maybe 10 seconds, stick the lashes and I was good to go. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Comment, let me know what you think about the eye look. I love this palette. I will say, when I was taking pictures, it kind of looks like the shadow doesn't look as dark. I don't know. I'm also not using my normal phone. My phone is broke, so take that with a grain of salt. But I don't know. Like It looks super dramatic in person, and I feel like it looks it on camera for the video, but not in my pictures. So... Maybe it's just, I don't know, but yeah, absolutely love it. Comment, let me know what you think. Let me know what you think about the palette. Let me know what you think about the face, everything. Just talk to me. I love hearing from you guys. If you're new, I hope you decided to join the family by hitting that subscribe button and I will see you in my next video. Bye. It's